What's up everybody? Trust Wallet just recently released browser extension. So from now on, you can actually install browser extension or Trust Wallet on your computer. And it supports all Chromium based browser. So it support Chrome, Edge, Brave, and I think another one that are based on Chromium. It's gonna be slightly similar to a iPhone or Android application, but there's still gonna be a difference. It's still gonna have its own limitations. You're not gonna have all the features and functions that actually iPhone or Android phone is offering on their devices. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download, set up and use Trust Wallet on your desktop computer. So first we need to go to trustwallet.com and then right here, just press on browser extension where it says new and then right here, get trust wallet. Then it's going to take you to the store and then just press add to Chrome or whatever browser you're using and then add extension. Okay. looks like trust wallet has been added. So then next thing what we can do most likely by default, it's not going to appear over here. You'll just have to click on this little puzzle. It's going to be all your extensions and then in here, uncheck this. So it's going to be shown in the toolbar and then it's going to appear over here. So we can press on it new window is going to appear. Here's a couple options. You can create new or import or recover wallet. So let's say, for example, if you have one already on your cell phone, what you can do, you can use that same seed phrase or secret phrase and add over here. But for this video tutorial, I'm just going to create a new one. And then in here is going to ask you if you would like to help to improve trust wallet. I'm just going to press no, thank you. And then you'll have to set up password. Let's set up password really quick. and then agree terms and conditions and then proceed. Next backup phrase, make sure you write it down somewhere and don't share with anybody because if you do, they'll have access to your wallet and they can move funds without your knowledge and then press on start. And now it's going to display secret face for this video tutorial. I'm not going to blur it because I don't care. I'm not going to use this account and I'm going to show you every step. So got it. So this is the secret face. I'm just going to copy it really quick and then proceed. Now we have to confirm. And then next, and that's it. Now there's a couple options. You can set trust wallet as default app. So basically when you're going to be connecting to some kind of dApps or decentralized applications, it's going to be set as default, or you can uncheck that. And then every time when you're going to be connecting either to pancake swap or maybe Uniswap, it's going to give you an option, which wallet to connect and then press on open. And then this is just showing you if you're going to be connecting to some kind of swaps. This is how you're going to have to connect with this wallet. Just press on got it. And then I'm ready to use trust wallet. So on the top left corner, as you can see, no DAP connection. So if, for example, you're going to connect to Uniswap or PancakeSwap or somewhere, I'm sure probably this is going to indicate that a green or something is going to state that you are connected to the centralized application. And then this is what your wallet's going to look like. It's basically the same thing. What's going to look like on the top right corner. If you press on this little icon, this is exactly the same. I'm going to show you everything just in a main browser, just because it's bigger. So right here, you'll see a couple options by default. There are certain coins already added and what you can do. You can either send or receive when you press on send, find coin that you're trying to send, let's say Polygon or Matic, and then receive an address and an amount, how much you would like to send. And then you just have to go preview and then probably next and proceed or something like that. Then if we go back, also receive. So if you would like to receive some kind of coins to your wallet or from your friend or from somewhere, you just press on receive. Then you need to choose what kind of currency you're trying to receive. Let's say Ethereum. Then this wallet is going to appear. You just press on copy and then share either to exchange or to your friend or to whoever is sending your Ethereum. Or for example, if you are actually sending from MetaMask or from another wallet to your wallet, just copy this address and paste it in the other wallet. And that's how you're going to be able to send it. Then if we go back, other option in the top right corner, as you can see, manage token, when we press on it, it's going to give you an option to add actually a different token. So either you can press add custom token, and then you can choose chain here or you can just search 
for tokens here or using contract address. Then if we go back, there's a history tab right here. It's going to show you every single history or every single transaction that's being performed on this wallet and then settings tab. So in settings network, this is basically a chain by default. It's set to Ethereum, but you can change it to Avalanche, Polygon, Smart Chain. And again, you can also add a custom network. Then language, you can set different language. They have quite a few languages here and then set as default wallet. This is the switch that we unchecked when we were setting up share product analytics. We're not doing it as well. And then you can view your secret phrase here, help and support, and then you can lock. So this is pretty much it. It doesn't have all the features and functions that you get on your cell phone. It doesn't have an NFT tab and doesn't look like you can add multiple wallets into this client, but you can still actually use secret key from your trust wallet on your cell phone and have it on your computer if that's what you prefer to and this is pretty much it this is just a quick overview of trust wallet as a browser extension on the computer if this video is helpful to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching